Hey everybody, welcome to episode 17 of Why Aurelia Today. I am joined by a man who has inspired me from a photography perspective, Greg James Thompson. Thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure. Thank you, Jordan. So, uh, you know, I like to start every interview off by giving you a chance to introduce yourself and okay. what you do to the audience. So in your words, who are you and what do you do? Uh, well, uh, Greg James Thompson. I got into photography a few years ago and... Uh, Fell in love with landscape photography at the beginning and then um, slowly evolved into other areas. But landscape's always been, I guess, my passion. I love being outdoors, uh, scenery, you know, nature, all that fun stuff. Um, and recently moved back to Aurelia and I spent 18 years up in Muskoka and that's kind of where I got into the photography business. And then I just felt I wanted to get back to Aurelia because of mainly the art scene and just the scenery and just you know a little closer to the gta right just things like that so speaking of photography you know you mentioned that at one point you started as you know it started as a passion at some point it turned into a business what was the what was the catalyst that sort of actually got you i know that you know i've i've been doing photography for a little bit just as a, a hobby um, you know, and, and that's sort of how I got on, how you got on my radar, I got on your yeah. radar, um, one way or the other. What was the turning point that went from, okay, I'm just out looking at things saying I'd love to capture this, to actually getting a camera, getting into it? Well, I think, you know, I originally started with like a entry-level Nikon camera and bought a landscape lens. I was up in Kilbert Provincial Park one day, just running around on, you know, auto setting, taking all these yeah. shots, and one captured my eye, and I decided one year at Christmas to make it into a print, and I gave one to my niece and her husband, and one to my sister-in-law, and she posted on social media, and all of a sudden people are like, wow, that's really great, I would like a copy of that, and I was like, oh, okay, we can do that. Right. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of been through social media as a platform, uh, the ability to show your work, and then you know, to, to see it in a setting, like she had placed the, the photo, this 24 by 36 print, on this beautiful stone mantle, and I guess people got a, a sense of the image and how it would look in their home. So it just, it was kind of a lucky thing that I was, you know, I wanted to do something different for a Christmas gift. And right. photography has has always been my Christmas go-to gifts right. ever since. So, you know, that was kind of the catalyst that started me thinking, you know, this could Maybe turn into... something here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's certainly uh, funny how it just sort of, for some people, it just sort of happens, and, and maybe it wasn't a, a lifelong plan, but then it sort of, it, it catches you and sort of sucks you in. Um, so, we were talking a little bit before we got on camera here that, you know, you came to Aurelia at a quite a young age, four years old, was it? Four years old, yeah, years my old. parents helped me move, it was good. Um, <laughs> yeah, my dad, uh, Hugh Thompson, he... Uh, he did a deal with Otaco, a former factory in Aurelia. He invented a, an ATV, six-wheeled rig called a bazoo, okay. which was like a floating ATV. Um, Otaco bought the patent, so he moved us, the Thompson clan, up to Cumberland Beach in 1970. And there he worked at Otaco for a while, and then he eventually started a, uh, a snowmobile dealership just north of Weber's called Thompson Leisure Equipment. So okay. I went to Cumberland Beach Public School, Archery Public School, Park Street, Georgian College. I was on the Board of Governors uh, at Georgian College, first student elected, graduated business marketing, ended up in Mississauga. That was my first taste of city life. Didn't last long there. I ended up in the radio business, uh, interned at Q107, and then I ended up back in Aurelia again. And then I uh, ended up working at a Barry radio station before getting hired to move to Muskoka to work at a uh, uh, radio station up there. So I ended up moving to Muskoka in 1998 and only recently moved back to Aurelia in, in 2016 just because I wanted to be part of the, the vibrant art scene in Aurelia and I think it's, you know, that's kind of what brought me back and, right. uh, you know, we've got uh, such a great community and such a beautiful area that, uh, I, you know, it was a good move. Uh, I'm glad to be back in Aurelia. Well, it's really heaven for someone like you, uh, you know, being in the arts and, and needing, you know, especially when you're doing your landscape work, needing beautiful landscapes to actually take pictures of. Yeah. Aurelia is sort of a, a great place for that. And so I wanted to have you on, you know, you mentioned the art scene. I wanted to have you on because I've been following your work for a while now. And uh, for those of you watching, at the end of this episode, I'm actually going to 
post uh, some of my favorite pictures of, of Greg James Thompson and, and also some of his favorite works so you guys can see the real talent because it really is beautiful and I've been Thank fascinated you. with the idea of you know capturing the beauty of a community from behind a camera. So in terms of some of those iconic pictures of Aurelia and then some maybe less iconic pictures of Aurelia, I wanted to ask you just a couple quick questions. Uh, so what to you is the most beautiful view in Aurelia? Uh, that is a tough question because there are so many uh, views and views always change. There's so many variables to a view, you know, clouds and, and water and trees and, and just perspectives, sunrise, where we're sitting, I've shot right. many. Sunsets, other side of the lake, you know, you can go out to Lake Simcoe, so many different areas. So it's, it's tough to narrow what, you know, the perfect scenario for a photo is, but just the fact that Aurelia's got so many options. Right. It's just, you know, you have a go-to spot if you, you know, looking at the sky and go, wow, okay, I know exactly where I can go. So that, right. that helps, but it's always good to find, you know, new, new areas to shoot. Right. Perhaps like that shot you posted yesterday, I had no idea about that. Right. And it was just, wow, you know, that's great. And that's what, that's what keeps you coming back to, you know, pick up the camera and just, you know, right. I want to uh, capture something different or something the same. And so you mentioned earlier there, I, I sort of randomly stumbled upon what I would consider a hidden gem. Do you have a hidden gem in Aurelia that is a, a place that you've maybe taken one or more than one pictures, but, you know, is not necessarily the big, beautiful, iconic place that everybody may think of, but has been a place that's maybe produced some great pictures for you. Well, I mean, right where we're sitting is definitely iconic. I think because of the history of the park and this beautiful green space next to, you know, the Port of Aurelia, which is an absolute gem. And by the way, we're gonna share some of, I, some of the pictures you have from here, just so people can see what's on the other side of the camera. At the end, we're gonna show some of his amazing work in this particular area. Sorry I, to cut you off. <laughs> at, uh, at, when I first moved back to Aurelia, I was really gung-ho to get out of bed and shoot sunrise. Uh, right. I, I tend to shoot more sunsets now um, <laughs> and sleep in. But just, you know, if there's a one place in particular, it's, it's just a little, it's closer to Wachego, actually. You know, just a quick drive. And there's sunsets. There's this beautiful dock. It's up near Floral Park. And then there's this train track that you kind of walk down with a, a trestle and a bridge that underneath has just got this amazing kind of grid framework of uh, trestles and things mm -hmm. like that it's just you know that I've done portrait work there I've done you know a lot of s landscapes sunsets long exposure shots when I first got my uh, my filter system to do long exposure shots which to those that don't know you just you hold the you know shutter open for an extended period of time mm -hmm. with this really dark piece of glass and creates that smooth effect <laughs> Right. You know, so this area has been kind of a go-to 15-minute drive. You know, there's so many different places within a 15-minute drive. It's it's great. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, you have, as we mentioned earlier, you've transitioned from a photographer just sort of out trying to capture those shots for your own personal use to, okay, maybe there's a business here to, yes, there actually is a business here. So tell me a little bit about your photography business. Well, when I first moved back, um, I was still kind of doing it part time, and then a, a, another really artist approached me about sharing some space. So we rented uh, at Five Peter Street upstairs, uh, Suite Two Hundred Four, we called it. And we had a good run for quite a while. Um, I will say that I wasn't prepared. For, you know, art selling photography in this day and age is it is a little tough in this Instagram, Facebook, you know, cell phone pictures. Yes. Everybody's a photographer, which I think is great because. You know, it does allow a lot of creative or creativity. Um, with that said, I mean, you know, I I did well for a being relatively new and new-ish to the art scene, like kind right. of the new kid in town. You know, the facility, uh, our suite 204. You know, it was great. We had a great following, but after a while, I uh, you know I became that starving artist and had to get a job. Right. Um, so unfortunately we closed down the studio and this is just going back to the beginning of 2018 so I kind of reevaluated a lot of things and, and, and focused more on the, the portrait side of things, right. do a lot of family stuff, uh, haven't dabbled into the wedding photography scene quite yet, <laughs> a lot of That's photographers, a different beast. <laughs> it is a different, it's storytelling right? right. Um, 
you know, so maybe I'll go there next year. I, I constantly get asked, which is flattering. So, you know, between landscape photography, selling prints, and, you know, just uh, the portrait side of things, things are turning around. But, you know, any business takes five years to, to right. kind of get momentum. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, you know, before we wrap this up, I, I wanted to talk about something, and this is maybe why Aurelia's first real taste of what I would consider the the artistic community that Aurelia has. And I know it's it's strong, but you know, in your idea, what's what's the state of the union and the art scene in Aurelia right now? And maybe what needs to happen for that to continue to grow? Well, I think it's always been vibrant, but I think it's just, it's the trajectory, trajectory is about to just really explode, you know? Um, you know, at the time that we're filming this, there's a big unveil of a, uh, a, a kind of a statue on the Peter Street Arts District. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Peter Street's vibrant, but there's more galleries popping up around the area. There's the Pactor Factor, Charles Pactor, who, a uh, prominent Canadian artist, has uh, kind of planted some roots in Aurelia. You've got, you know, Travis Schilling and B. Schilling and just, you know, the Patty Agapes and, and so many great people, Leslie Fournier's, uh, you know, spearheading a lot of the initiatives. I think Aurelia, with the advent of Matchadash Lofts, people are coming from the city people can't afford to be in the city, both residential and artists. So I think Aurelia is going to be on the radar for a lot of people, both art collectors and artists, to yep. come up here and set up shop. I mean, we've got the facilities, we've got, you know, the the real estates that, you know, we, there's vacant property that artists can come up and, and set up shop. So I think, Absolutely. you know, the, the next couple of years are gonna be pivotal, but I think in five years, Aurelia is going to be you know, a hub for Canadian art. Absolutely. So I think that, you know, we've dabbled a little bit in your love for the community. I've seen, I've noticed a trend just in, in hearing your story of leaving, but then you come back and yeah. then you leave, but then you have to come back. So the way that I end every episode and the name of the show and the most important question of the show is always, why Aurelia? Simple. The porridge is just right. You know, it's, um, you know, it's close to the you know the gta you're close to muskoka the playground of the rich and famous you're close to you know we've got ski hills we've got beautiful lakes and parks and and green facilities we've got you know i'm pointing across there casino rama we've got live uh live music we've got the opera we just got everything the amenities of the big city yet cottage country all wrapped in one so Absolutely. that's why oh really it's just you know it, it's home like Kuching has a, a calling or something you know we've got yep. you know beautiful resorts and great people like that's that's one thing that I, I will say it's just the the people are fantastic and and supportive of of businesses you know a lot of people will shop local despite the fact that they can go to bigger areas yep. and you know I think we've kind of We've got it all, and I think the, the future is, is going to be just, you know, it's just fantastic for Aurelia. I couldn't agree more. So uh, before we end the show, uh, I, like I said, guys, I'm going to put uh, some of, you know, our favorite pictures up uh, on a slideshow afterwards. But for those of you who don't know how to get a hold of you uh, and that need some of your talented work in their life, what is the best way if somebody needs to hire you to get a hold of you? Uh, my website is uh, gjthompson.com. Facebook is GJ Thompson Photography. Uh, Instagram is GJ Thompson Photography as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, through the social media outlets, uh, email gjtimagery at gmail.com. I feel shamelessly self promoting here, but I appreciate You're not the opportunity. Shameless. I, I have, this is the whole point of this. So, <laughs> um, people, you know, I've been attracted to your work for a long time. It is, seriously, guys, check them out. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and, you know, one of my favorite photographers to follow. So, oh, people wow. need to know how to get a hold of you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I am also, I do have uh, some gallery space at Art and Home uh, Studio and Gallery at 17 Peter Street. And I hope to. In the, in the next year, establish a portrait slash gallery of my own uh, in the Peter Street Arts District or somewhere around there. It's just, you Love know, I, I, I just feel that uh, things for really are just going to skyrocket. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.